and them with quilters in mind, so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints, so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom Shows here on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well. Uh, Jeanette joins me. Hello. Hi, good morning. Great to do a show with you. Yeah. I'm good. very excited about this show as well. I mean, everybody out there knows that I love birds. I love nature. I love taking uh, pictures of birds. And now you're going to have the chance to use some wonderful stamps to build your own scenes. Now, it's a special show because this is Practical Publishing right. in conjunction with the RSPB. Yes, so Practical has collaborated with RSPB to bring you some stamp and die combos where 10% of the proceeds are going to go towards RSPB. Wow, it's so a minimum of £4,000 a year going to that fabulous charity. Uh, we're going to bring details up. It is a registered charity. You may be familiar with it, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. Um, so there you go, there's the logo, and we'll bring the details up at the bottom of the screen. But this is a collaboration between Practical Publishing, and that's why we've got the lovely Jeanette with us. But what we're going to do is take you through the different stamp sets, and then we've got some great demonstrations coming up. Yes. Yeah, let's start with this one. You might be familiar with this chap here, the robin being the main bird on here, but you've also got the other birds uh, which are there, great British birds. And you may have seen some of these in your garden over the past few weeks foraging away for food. Uh, you've got the house sparrow on there, never leaves us. Uh, you've got the blue tit, and underneath you've got the Latin name, I believe. That's right, so you can uh, be really fancy and impress your friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, you've got uh, lovely sentiments in there as well, and you've got some extra stamps to build those scenes, do you know, which I think yes. is lovely. And this is such a jam-packed set, so there's 18 stamps and five dies included, and you can build some really nice garden scenes, which I'm going to show you how to do it in my demonstrations but they're just beautiful stunning and really festive too because even though it is a garden kind of scene you can still make Christmas cards with it yeah you can of course yeah. the Robin never leaves us does he right. um, and he's such a, a great image of Christmas time springtime summertime autumn time but especially at winter there and it's such a fun stamp to use because of that lovely uh, red breast of course it really brings that vibrancy out in the cards it's a great price saving four pounds it's 19 pounds and 98 pence if you want to go for that particular stamp set um, 
just want to show how oh, beautiful this card here. Yes, I love that one. That one is from Gwen Fletcher, and she's used the little um, pots, <laughs> like stack them up, and then added the snowy uh, dye, like the little icicle snow there. And, and the pots yes. come uh, included. Oh, that's the stamp set. Sorry. Yeah, and there's two. There's two sizes <laughs> to the to the pots, and you can stack them different ways and almost build like a bird feeder as well if you want. To. Yeah, I love that. How so fun pretty. is that? It really is. If you want to get hold of that set, three one three one five one is your item number. Uh, we're moving on because we've got more for you. Of course, we have uh, plenty of birds and plenty of scenes for you to build. Uh, this particular set is the spring set. Uh, and let's hope that this year we have a lovely spring. Um, it's nice to always get ready, isn't it? And, uh, you know, it's springtime somewhere in the world, isn't it? Yes, it At is. At all times of year. <laughs> in California. When it's our, yeah, when it's our <laughs> winter, it's someone else's uh, summer. So let's have a look at this particular set, like this one. Yes, so this is spring and, like, the previous one was winter and so there's a set for every season which is really nice so that it'll um, help you craft all year round and so this is the spring habitat uh, stamp and die set and it has a beautiful little bird house and a little watering can and then a little hanging bird feeder so you can create again some beautiful garden scenes and what I love about all of these stamps is that you can use them for masculine and feminine makes. Yeah, you it can. Really, yeah, yes, it's yeah, it's just like an uh, they're, they're for everybody across, really. Kind of, yeah, exactly. And all across um, different age range. Exactly. As well, you know, your grandma, your granddad, they love gardening, they love birds, love bird watching, but also younger members of the family as well. So you know, I think that is a, a lovely way to get a stamp set that you can make and create cards for everybody. And look at that one. How how lovely is that? And that's so using nice. the the extras that are in the yes, stamp set. Yes, and that's a quick like one layer card so there's no like die cuts on it or yeah. it's just using the stamps on its own which is really Isn't lovely. That lovely love that nine double two nine two three is your item number 21 stamps and you're getting six dies in total 19 pounds and 98 pence saving four pounds right we've got summer for you oh could, <laughs> could do the bit of summer today could yes. you definitely <laughs> definitely uh, another beautiful set of stamps for you here and dies, of course, building and creating that scene. Yes, and we have a beautiful, <laughs> elegant swan. So classy. And these are perfect for, like, wedding cards. You know, you summer, you think of weddings. Yes. So good for wedding cards and also um, anniversary cards. And then the kingfisher is also included in this one. He's so, so adorable. He is so adorable. <laughs> and, you know, kingfishers are really tiny yeah. when you see them out. I mean, you normally think, oh, kingfisher, it's got to be a huge bird. Are they not? They're so delicate and tiny, but they're also very vibrant in color as well. And they this are. is something that you'll definitely be able to catch. And look and at that one. The, Isn't that lovely? And the uh, swan has a coordinating die as well as a kingfisher. So once you do your coloring, you're stamping your coloring you can just die cut those and Perfect. mount them onto your card front it's so it's very a nice fabulous set it really is you might be wanting to go for one of each of these sets if you want to build up the summer and the autumn you can see where we're going with this uh, then you're more than welcome to do so <coughs> excuse me um if your baskets come to six pounds or more you can open up a flexi buy where you can divide the cost into two payments so that's your summer uh, 238028 i'm just going to grab my water and bring that along uh, I've still got a bit of that cold going on, uh, but that's fine. Let's move on because we've got autumn for you now. And again, another fabulous set of birds in their habitat, you know. Absolutely. So what I love about this set is that it's still, I mean, you can make uh, spooky cards for Halloween, but also just festive autumnal makes. And it's still autumn. I think once Halloween is over, we think, oh, it's Christmas. But no, it's still autumn until uh practically almost Christmas Day. Yes, so it's still not too late. And what I love about this one is the tree tree um, tree die, which creates both a tree, but also branches if you use it horizontally, as I've done in this card here. And yeah, just lots of beautiful stamps. It has an owl and a magpie as well. I, <laughs> Jay was probably standing here then. <laughs> <laughs> looking at me because I was like this off air um, I don't like spiders so there was a spider in oh, that set a spider. Okay. and you guys at home know yeah. that so that that's why I was like 
As, as we were a close-up. There's, there's a spider. Oh, He's like, a friendly spider. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I can't tell you I don't yet. know. I thought you were going to cough or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a great set. It's Jeanette said, I mean, using this for Halloween as well. Mm -hmm. So, so versatile it really is. And there's nothing stopping you. If you are going for the other sets as well, mixing and matching. Mixing yes. and matching. Remember that, Robin? He stays with us all year round. Okay. Uh, if you want to go for this set, 010228. And the magpie, actually. Do you know the nursery rhyme with the magpie? No. Tell One me. for sorrow, two for joy, oh, three yeah. for a girl, four for four, a boy, four, five four. for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret, never to be told. So you could have the magpie mm. and you could have them on those different yes. uh, numbers, which would be really good. Yes. I don't know if it's a nursery rhyme or like a Is this fable, like a saying? A like saying. a, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Idiom of yeah. some sort. Um, mm -hmm. Or if I see a magpie, I have to hold my collar. Yes. Or salute the magpie. I've, yeah, I've heard that one before. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to salute anybody. Those are your autumn collection. And then we've got British Garden. Uh, this yes. is excellent value for money, do you know? When we bring the details up on the mm -hmm. screen, you'll see for why. Saving three pounds, it's only 13 pounds and 98 pence. 30 stamps and three dies. Uh, where are we? There we go. The, uh, three dies included. That's a lot of stamps there. Yes, it's A4 size, so it's massive. And then you get some all like all sorts of beautiful uh, garden birds, as well as a die set that coordinates with some of the stamps. And you have that beautiful birdhouse, absolutely stunning. And then uh, I made this card here, and I didn't use any of the birds. This was just kind of with like little wildflowers images in the background, so they're really nice. Just Isn't that pretty yeah, and the sentiments are great too. Let yeah. your dreams take flight. You can use it for birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, there's a sympathy, sympathy sentiment, and also uh, a sentiment for a new home. Beautiful, and you do have some lovely birds in there. I think you've got the swallow in there. You've got the Jenny Wren. She's such a beautiful bird. Uh, you've also got in there. Let's have a look. The song thrush as well, which is always uh, yeah. a great addition to your garden. Do look after your song thrushes. They are beautiful. Uh, you've got your blue tit in there. You've got your robin, your flying swallow, your sparrow as well. Um, you've also got your bullfinch and your magpie. Uh, magpie. Magpie. <laughs> magpie again. Uh, that's in there. Oh, you're going to enjoy. What I love about this is being able to build a scene yes. and add your favourite birds in there. And maybe in your garden you see two birds that come in. Maybe you've got the blue tits that come in and you've got a magpie, for example, and they're always together. So maybe you, you'll use those two stamps mm -hmm. so you can make it bespoke to your outlook um, on the world. It's a great set. It's a great price. 271191 is your item number. Now, we've got another set for you. These are some dies, and these aren't from the RSPB, uh, but they are from Pretty Quick, and they are pretty quick at making. They are, yeah, so these are great for uh, quick one-pass makes. These dies are great. F uh, they're very snippable, so you can do some beautiful paper piecing, or if you just color them, uh, sorry, die cut them in white, then you can use your uh, alcohol markers or watercolors to color just right over the white die cut. Now these come in a set of four for you. Let me just place those right. down. And Should I help you? I'm just standing here. <laughs> Don't do anything. Just watching you struggle. <laughs> watching me struggle. Yeah, like, I can yeah help. okay, off you go. <laughs> It's okay, it's fine, mm. thank you. Oh dear, that's <laughs> funny. Um, and again, you know, that snip ability, I mean, that is really stunning, very effective. Yeah, it's just that silhouette. a nice, vibrant background with a black, you know, die cut on the front, and you're done. What a great concept, £22.96, mm. saving £11. It's a great deal. These aren't RSPB related, but you're more than welcome to pop these into your basket or buy these if you wish on their own. 287232 is your item number. Absolutely love those. You can have a lot of fun with those when you get them home. Right, we're heading to the demo. Let's have a look at the website. This is where you can see all of the stamp and die sets. And they are RSPB licensed products. And 10% of all the proceeds will be going to the RSPB. They are um, a well-known charity here in England. And that is minimum, I think, 4000 a year. Um, it's a great idea. And I'm really uh, proud that I'm presenting this show because, you know, I love wildlife. I love birds. I'm an avid bird watcher. And I take pictures of them all the time. You'll know that. You'll see those pictures all over Facebook. But now this is going to give you a chance to not only make some fabulous cards with some of your favorite friends from the garden but also learn something as well um, because there might be birds in here that perhaps you don't get in your garden so you can learn all about them as well as having fun.
Right, we're back with Jeanette. What we're going to be taking a look at. So I'm going to show you how to use the Winter Birds uh, die set and stamp set to create a lovely little garden scene. So here I have a piece of A6 cardstock and white cardstock, and I just inked it up with some uh, spiced marmalade. Oh, lovely. And I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to grab the robins up here when loved ones are near. So cute. So I'm going to use the Distress uh, inks to just stamp my background, just kind of build some interest in there. Okay. Now I don't recommend that you, like if you want a very clear, crisp impression of your stamp, I don't recommend Distress inks, but since this is just going to be in the background. It works really well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And we're going to cover most of this, so I'm just concentrating my stamping efforts just along the edges. I'm yeah. going to skip the center. <laughs> it's just going to get covered up. Saves the ink as well, I guess. Absolutely. Uh, some of the sentiments that you're getting on the set that we're using here on the Winter Birds, uh, you've got Winter Wishes and Just Flying By to Say, and then you can put your own message in there. Uh, robins appear when loved ones are near. I mean, that is gorgeous, isn't it? And again, if you're making and creating a card for somebody who's lost someone in their lives, um, it's always difficult, isn't it? What do you say? What card do you put together? I think that, that says it all, really, which is really nice. So there is our background all done, and I'm going to stamp my... I'm going to use the, the little Robin. He's adorable. Yeah. And I'm going to use uh, some hybrid ink to stamp in case you want to go either way with your um, watercolors or alcohol markers. Aww. There he is. He's so cute. Oh. Now, I do recommend um, once you uh, get your set to do like a coloring kind of reference guide. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise you're just going to have to pull out your phone every time and try to remember what color the robin, like where the gray is and yes. where the brown is yeah. and his feathers are and whatnot. So I do recommend you stamp out uh, all of your little bird stamps and create a coloring guide. That's a good idea. And also, again, it's learning, isn't it? You know, if you don't know the yes. correct colors for maybe the bullfinch, you can go online, you can have a look and you can have fun um, coloring it. Absolutely. And I love how educational these sets are too. Uh, I'm not very good with like plant names or yes. uh, bird names. <laughs> I'm like, that's a bird, <laughs> brown bird. Well, it's great so that they've got the um, Latin names for them as well. I mean, I'm not even going to try and um, pronounce <laughs> some of those, not, not this morning. Um, but it, it gives you an education as well. And makes Absolutely. you look intelligent when you send a card with it. Yes, impress your friends. <laughs> yes. So um, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to do a little bit of blending here. And um, you can use the coordinating die set to die cut this out once you're all done with your coloring. Now, if we're making cards, could we make and make to sell? Yes, you can. Oh, that's good. Yes. That's good. That is good. So you can, uh, it's like, Good crafting for crafting for a good cause. Yes, as well. So our little Robin is coming to life. He, he is so cute. He certainly is. And then yep. we're gonna put him on our little garden scene, which we will build with the dies in just a bit. I did see in the news the other day that a Robin had flown all the way to us. I think he was from Africa. I don't know what he was doing over there because they normally stay in the UK, but they actually tracked the robin. How amazing is that, the things that you find out? That's crazy. That's amazing. They're so, um, they have so much endurance. <laughs> yeah. Birds. Well, they're very, they're, they're very, migrating. They're very wow. independent is, mm -hmm. uh, is the robin. And a, a way to keep them entertained is to put a mirror in the garden. Oh, I've never yes. tried that. It's, it's quite amusing. Well, a robin is so independent, they want to be the only robin in the garden. So if you put a mirror in the garden and they see that, they're like, what are you doing here? This is my garden. <laughs> so cute. All right. So we're going to add a piece of vellum right on top, kind of soften our background a little bit. And then we're going to start building our little garden scene. So I've die cut two of the little pots, the larger pots. Okay. And these come with the right. first set that we've got for you along they come with the winter birds along with um, some flowers as well and I'm going to take some distressing and gathered twigs and just kind of 
add a little bit of color to the edge of the pots. Make them pop a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm going to stack these this way. So you can add the um, third die here if you want. Oh, the bird, top of the bird table, yeah. Yeah, so you can make a little like bird bath if you'd like. And we're going to start gluing this down so we know exactly what we have to work with. And what I love about the set is it has a bunch of little like foliage and festive little sprigs so mm -hmm. that you can build your um, your garden scene. Yeah, this, we've got some berries in here, you've got feather, you've got some snow as well. I think that's so cute, have you seen that? A little stamp, um, which actually, snow or moss, could be moss, uh, but that would fit perfectly on the handle, or on the pots. You've got the berries as well, it would look great on the twig. Uh, you've got, I would say, is that, is that cracked? Ice oh yes, it is. It's like um, like uh, like a pond, like cra oh. like you can create a pond with it. <laughs> oh wow, that's so good. cool! And then you've got the uh, the feather there. Fabulous set. Oh, and the spade handlers. <clears throat> so here I have two little the little potted plants there, and it has a little slit, so you can just stack them very easily Aww. like that. So I'm going to glue them together. Like so. They're so lifelike those pots aren't they? They're, and they're okay that they're kind of like angled. Yeah. Going for that angled look. Because for some reason in your garden things just fall over all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you like plants and yeah, bird feeders and all sorts. <laughs> yeah they do. So I'm going to die cut some of the ivy okay. from green and also um, another little pot. Is that what they're called here? Like terracotta pots? Yeah, Just to make yeah sure terracotta I'm... pots. Right, so there's one right there. They normally crack if they're not frostproof. Oh! Yeah. I didn't know that happened. Yeah, you have to be careful with your pots. You have to think about that here. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, yes. Yeah, alright. Good Would to Would you know. like to tell everyone at home where, where you... Oh yes, I'm from California. Yeah, it's always warm there, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is always. It's always you don't hot. have problems with terracotta pots cracking no, there, do you? No, I didn't know you could do that, that you had to do that. <laughs> wow, alright. Learn something new every day. <laughs> okay, so here you see the little uh, sprigs and the twigs, and I have die cut some beforehand. And we're just going to build our beautiful little scene. I do really this like so these fun. dies, actually. Um, I think the detail that you're getting, not only in the pots, but in those little sprigs and the grass as well, um, it's a lovely set. And you do get this included with your winter birds. Let me just pick that up. There you go. So I'm holding the dies. Oh, I knew that would happen. Sorry. There you go. Maybe if I hold them down at the bottom. So those are your dies. I'll try and angle them as much as I can. And well, that's what they look like. There you go. Beautiful. Now if you don't have green, green card, then you can just uh, die cut some from white. Die cut the little sprigs from white, the little foliage and then get your distress inks and make your own little green green greens yeah just a bit of color what's nice about this card as well that we're making that could be a summer card it could be a winter card Absolutely. it could be a springtime card you could add snow to it you could add different elements to it as well um, but it does it looks really pretty and I feel you can really pretty much glue these, uh, like the ivy, anywhere and it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's how ivy is. It just grows everywhere. Oh, tell me that. <laughs> I spent most of last year cutting some ivy down. Oh, no. My work, yeah. From your to, from Yeah, yeah. from a, well, I've got a really nice stone wall and I had to get the ivy away. But now all the birds come in and they're all pecking away and Was eating it? at all the grubs that are there. Oh, yeah. Which I then feel really bad about. Bugs are being eaten. But it's nature. It looks so pretty. So our little garden. There it is. It looks so oh. fun. It's coming together. All right. And then um, I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I think it looks good. Thank you. So I'm going to um, mount my vellum. 
I'm going to use glue. I had brads, but I'll just use glue and then cover. Um, I suppose with the effects of brads, you could use some self-leveling drops. Yes. Um, if you don't have the brads to still get that effect. All right. So we'll glue that there, and then we'll add a little like gemstone on top to cover the adhesive. I do like that idea of the vellum, don't you at home? I mean, you might already use that, but I've, I've not seen it used in that way. And it just softens it. it yeah, it softens it's the really whole thing. nice. And then I need my outline die of my robin, um, which, all right. Oh, it's, do you want this one up here? Oh, sure, yeah, is that okay? Yeah, of course all it right. is. You can use that one. Sorry. Okay. okay. That's all right. And we're just going to line him you'll up. You'll get yours at home. We won't take, <laughs> we won't take it off. Yeah, no. I'll give it Jeanette. You can, you'll get yours at home. You can come find me if you're missing one. You're like, hey. <laughs> give me my die back. All right. So we're just going to run our um, colorful little robin through with our coordinating die. Now, I've noticed um, on this particular die set with the cone, pine cone in there and the ivy, they're all connected. Would you keep these all connected? I that, do. Or would you break them up? I, I do because I'll end up losing them. Yes, <laughs> they're, they're so welded small. Welded together. Yeah. But if you don't uh, want them welded together, then you can just break them apart with your hands, like yeah. just go back and forth. Good idea to keep them together. Yeah, um, I'll lose them. So then we have our little Robin there. He's going to go right on top. Oh. And I'm going to use some foam tape for him so he really pops off the card. There he is. And then for our sentiment, I've stamped the sentiment that I used for the background. Yep. Just on white. Oh, fabulous. Just to go there. Now, if you know the Robin, you'll know that he'll be sitting there going tick, 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 because that's the warning sign for cats. Oh. Yeah. Whenever you hear that in the garden, tick, 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 that's the, um, mainly the Robin, but other birds do do that as well. Mm, learn something new every day. Okay, so then our sentiment is there, right there, and I'm going to mount this to my card base. <gasps> this is so fun. You can really keep going with the um, ivy and the little sprigs and kind yeah. of build up your wild garden scene. Isn't that lovely? So that, really happy with that, how that's turning out, mm. and I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yes. So I added, on the original card, I added some little, like, raindrops yeah. using oh. some um, gloss. Which so a card like this, and you would sure see that then you'd, you'd put it on the wall, wouldn't you? Or you'd keep it out, because it's such a lovely piece of artwork. So these are just, like, clear gloss drops. And we'll put some throughout. Like, do. Do the dew. With and some glue. <laughs> and then just make sure that you don't put your finger in it until it has um, dried. And then I'm going to go back, put some little adhesive dots right on the corners where I glued my vellum down. And we will use some little gemstones. Okay. I'm going to go with the orange. Oh no! And we'll put one on each corner. And then our card will be done. Perfect. Oh, they're nice. Oh, then I like those. Just a little sparkle. Yeah. There if it was it a Christmas is. Robin, you could add red. Yes. You could do this, uh, replicate the same card, but then make the background red. Yes. Yeah, that would be nice. And that would be a good uh, Christmas card, I Isn't think. that beautiful? What a lovely card, you know. What a lovely there card. There it is. That is brilliant. <laughs> Can I just hold that up? Do you mind? Yes. No, no problem. That. Now, wouldn't... Wouldn't you feel proud giving that to somebody? You can watch these shows, by the way, again on Rewind for 60 Days. Uh, so if you did want to craft along with Jeanette and create something like this, you know, all you need is all the papers and everything, but you'll have the stamps if you pop them into your basket and check on out. £19.98 for that set that we used to create this fabulous card. It is the Winter Habitat, and it's 313151 is your item number. Now, you might want to go for the deal of the day. This is interesting because the deal of the day is such a superb price. Um, saving £19 for just under £30, £29.92, you will be getting 40 black and 40 white pre-scored cards and you're getting the envelopes as well. So the envelopes 
the, well, they're like they're, they're free. So it's a great deal. Uh, you've got different sizes in the cards. Do we know the different sizes? I think from memory, yeah, Paul will tell us at one, but they, I think they start with a five by five. Six by six, seven by seven, somewhere in that region. Um, but you've got a selection of um, card sizes. Give the call centre a ring. They will take you through the sizes or go on the website, hochanda.com, and you'll see all of the information right there. I think that is an essential because you're saving £19. It's like you get the envelopes for free. The envelopes do come included, so you get 80 of those. 40 black, which is 300 GSM, and 40 white, which is 290 GSM. It's a bargain. It's a great deal. It really is. Right, so we're back with the birds. Practical Publishing in conjunction with the RSPB. It's a registered charity. They're giving 10% of all donations to um, good causes, well, to the RSPB. And I do need to tell you that 20% of the winter birds has now gone and flown out the door. Yes, it's a great price, 1998. Um, we're very, very busy. Love this set because it's got your favourite birds from the garden, hasn't it? You've got your robin in there, which we all love. You've got your fabulous bullfinch, which is just there. Um, you also have, just running down here, so you've got your two dies at the top. You will have a die there. We've just taken it away. Uh, so the robin, the bullfinch you've got in there. Uh, a little bird told me you've got those little sentiments in there, which are beautiful. Um, and then you've got the berries in there. You've got the branch. You've got the fork handle. Uh, just the one, or if you stamp it out, you could have four candles. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, robins <laughs> appear when loved ones are near. So lovely sentiments in here. So the dies and the stamps, saving £4 on this set, £19.98, but it is literally flying out the door. 40% of the stock has already gone. Uh, let me just lift that one up for you to see that. So there's a lovely winter wishes. What a lovely Christmas card. And you can make and sell with these. It's always nice if you're making for charity as well. So it just takes the proceeds, proceeds even further, doesn't it? Uh, so, right, that is your winter bird stamp. Next up, we've got spring birds. Now, within the sets, you've also got other elements as well. So you are building a scene. You're building a scene. Um, so in this one, you can see you've got your birds at the top. And you've also got your bird feeder in there. So with your blue tit, you've got your house sparrow. Uh, you've got the cloud and the rain as well. A new chick. Look at that ladybird. Uh, or if you're in America, it's a ladybug. Don't just fly, soar. You've got the bird feeder in there. You've got a little worm and the snail as well. Happy bird day. Oh, I love that. Why didn't I think of that? Um, and you can start to create some fabulous cards. Now, let me show you some of the samples that we've got here. You've got the lovely birdhouse there. You've got the blue tit sitting on the feeder. I think that's one of those half a coconut. Where are you? Um, half a coconut feeders just there. And you've got the watering can as well. And you've got the Latin name. Uh, and there's a little little worm wriggling on its belly. I watched it for a while. I won't tell you the rest of that poem. Um, and here's another one. Uh, and again, we're not using any birds on this one, but we're using the snail, <coughs> we're using the plant pot. So again, another lovely little scene. A gorgeous card. It's £19.98. You're getting 21 stamps and six dies in total. He's got a little worm in his mouth. Oh. Oh, it's nature. What can you do? Uh, 922923 is your item number if you want to go for that one. That's your spring bird stamp. Uh, we've got summer. Yes, we have. Um, and this is a gorgeous set with summer. You've got the swans on there. You've got the kingfisher as well. It's very elegant, isn't it? Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, and... So you've got the extras in there like your tree stump, uh, you've got the, the ripples of the water that you can use and you've got the reeds as well. Um, aim high. Kingfish is such a beautiful bird, they really are. It's very rare that you see them. Uh, but if you do, grab your camera, see if you can grab it because it is an incredible, incredible bird to see out in the wild. As is the swan on your wedding day, isn't that lovely? Or you could put two swans together. Um, it's a great set. It is the summer set and you get 19 stamps and seven dies and those are your fabulous birds and their habitat as well. 238028 is your item number. Right. 
Let's go on to autumn. Yeah, autumn is a time of year when we think about Halloween as well. So you can use some of these stamps to make and create a spooky card. Now, it is autumn, so you've got your birds with the elements of autumn. So your tree, your dry leaves in there, or the leaves are falling down. You've got the acorn, you've got your pumpkin. Uh, you've also got the web and the thing that lives in the web. I'll just, you can have a look at that at home. I'll just close my eyes. You've got uh, the owl in there, you've got the hedgehog, uh, and you've got your hoot, and I hope your birthday's a hoot, which is really good, isn't it? Uh, so if you are a wise old owl yourself, or want to send a card to a wise old owl, um, get this set home, £19.98, saving £4. Let's just lift these two uh, <laughs> symbols up. Um, isn't that lovely? Love that one, isn't that gorgeous? So pretty, and that one as well. Just using, the, that is very, very striking. And do you know what that is? It's a parliament of owls, which is quite apt for this time of year, don't you think? Uh, a parliament of owls, that's what a collection of owls is called. If you want to go for this set, um, it is the autumn bird stamp set. Uh, we do have cues on the phones. Please do bear with us. We'll get through all your calls. It's a, a fabulous, fabulous set of stamps to have. And of course, with 10% going to the RSPB as well, uh, a registered charity for the UK. Uh, we're moving on. We've got British garden birds here. Now, a quarter of the stock has gone. This is excellent value for money. Look how many stamps you're getting and all the different editions. And you're getting the dies as well. 30 stamps and three dies for £13.98. Um, dare I say it, that's cheap. Yes, yeah, sorry. Had to just branch out there for a moment, but I will leave it out. I will leave it out. Um, £13.98, a beautiful set. You've got Jenny Wren there, haven't you? You've got your bullfinch, you've got the magpie in there. Um, you've got, is that your blue tit? Yes, it is. And your robin at the top. Uh, along with all of the flowers from their habitat as well. You've got the swallow. What a beautiful image that is as well. And the sparrow and the song thrush. How could we forget that? Beautiful song thrush. Please do look after them. Um, that's really, really important. It really is. Look after all your birds. It's important. Um, we've, this is proven to be very popular as well. Best way to order. Here's the thing. Best way to order would be the website. Because you can get to the website and you can check out your basket yourselves. You don't need to talk to anybody. But the people in the call centre are working very, very hard. I'll give them a wave. They can't hear us up there, but they know if I'm waving, I'm waving at them. Um, so they are working really hard getting through your calls, um, but it's an idea to also check out your baskets if you're on the web so that you do get your items. Right, so those are the RSPB um, stamp sets. We've got another stamp, uh, we've got another die set for you here. This isn't the RSPB, but this is a fabulous set, and we've been busy for this as well. Uh, let me show you the concept. So the whole die is one die itself, as you can see just there. And then you can make and create some fabulous cards. So if I leave that there, look at that. How easy is that going to be to make and create a card? Uh, you've got the wonderful puffin in there as well. Uh, let me pick up this one. And there you go. And this one. Oh, is that the card? Let me pick. Yes. How cool is that? How cool is that stalk? If you know somebody that's expecting a baby, because that's how they come. That's what it's all about, the stalk. And then you've got the parrot. And then a nice, colourful parrot. Beautiful, isn't it? Tropical parrot. I think these are fabulous. I really do. We're very busy. £22.96, saving £11. It's a great deal. You can add this to your basket before you check out if you want to. Now, if you are a Freedom member, your PMP is included and you get great discount offers as well. And to tell you a little bit more about becoming a Freedom member, here's a lovely Alex. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month.
Over 10,000 of you are already members. And we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Oh, thanks, Alex. We were just saying how lovely Alex was. Mm -hmm. He is. <laughs> she's not past tense. <laughs> no, how no. lovely Alex is. <laughs> a lovely Alex. Not was. Oh, she's in today. Oh, fabulous. Great. Uh, right. Are we going to be pretty quick? Yes, I'm going to, yeah, well, yeah, we'll see. Not, not we'll see. pretty quick as yes. in fast, but we're going to take a look at our pretty <laughs> quick range. These really are fabulous. I love it. So I'm going to be using the parrot die. So it just comes like a single die. There it is. But when you die cut it from white, you can color it. You can do paper piecing if you would like. So I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. I do love this set. It's a set of four, by the way. You've got your parrot. You've got your puffin, you've got your oh, stalk, two different, no, I think you've got a stalk and a, a crane. Heron, a heron. A heron. Mm -hmm. a heron. heron. Yeah, a stalk and a heron. Heron, stalk and puffin cranes and are very similar, yes, aren't they? Yes, they are. Um, yeah. Long necks. I think, I think, I think is it cranes are grey? Mm. All right, so we have our die cut here. I'm just removing all the little fallout, which again, you can do some paper piecing with it. Now what I like about this die set is that it die cuts the parrot, but you also get like a nice outer frame. Okay. I mean, you can use that for the parrot oh, or right. to create the, the like a- that's left over. Yeah, or you can create like an aperture, a little window scene with your parrot in the background. So that's fun. Okay. So now that we have our parrot die cut, um, I've die cut two previously and glued them together. It gives them really nice dimension. Yep. And I mean, if you want, you can glue that to your card front, add a sentiment. It's so lovely as it is. It is lovely, isn't it? So we're going to glue this down just with a little bit of liquid adhesive. And we're gonna fill in the little gaps with some uh, dimensional drops. So we're gonna do like a little bit of, um, just give it like a nice little colorful background. And this is really easy to do. So we're just gonna glue that onto the center. And again, I've die cut that twice from white and glued that together to give it some, uh, some bulk, some dimension. Okay. Ew, it looks a little messy with the glue on all over the place, but that's going to dry. <laughs> it's going to dry clear. All right. So now we're going to fill all these little gaps with some drops, dimensional drops. Oh, wow. We're going to be very liberal with it. Oh no. It stopped. There we go. Have a little pin handy. <laughs> Always. Now, if you're going for the deal of the day, um, we've got some black and white card for you. So I'm thinking that these would be perfect for that because you've got different sizes in the black and the white card. So as the name suggests, pretty quick, you could make cards pretty quickly. You really could. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to add a third white, a third uh, parrot die cut on top. So if you go over like your beak or something with these dimensional drops, it's, it's really not a big deal. Okay. Because you're going to cover it all up in just a bit. So I'm just using different colors here. Yes. And I know it looks like a blobby mess right now, but it's going <laughs> to... I'm going to lie to say. I wasn't <laughs> going to say that. Did, were you going to say that? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> oh, that looks mess. like a blobby mess. <laughs> it looks like a blobby mess. It does look like a blobby mess. Well, now you say it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It'll all come together. I wasn't going to say that. I know you. <laughs> all right. So, we've got pink and blue, and then I'm going to add a little bit of white. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out, actually. You're going to have to give this time to dry, so I have one that I've done before. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> um, it does take a while, because yeah. there's so much, um, much of these drops in there. Is there anything else that you could use if you didn't have any of these um, drops mm. to use, for example? If you have um, glossy accents, or like the clear gloss that I used in my previous demo, yeah, and you can mix that with um, like alcohol, inks if you have yeah. it if you have that um, you. then you can make you can add this kind of dimension colorful dimension to it yeah I think right. something else you could possibly use as well you know those double-sided sticky sheets um, yes with the glitter mm -hmm. that'd be really nice to make a, a quick card that would be really lovely all right and then you want to take a little pin and kind of swirl the colors about yeah Get all those gaps in there. Just have a little fun. If it gets a little messy, it's all right. And again, and it doesn't matter if you go over. Yeah, if you go over like his face, that's fine because we're going to cover it up yeah. in just a bit. You can really have fun with your colors here. Uh, if you want a less messy option, then you could just die cut um, like the pink. Just leave it pink as it is. Yeah. Or use glitter card. That'd be nice too. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. So with the images again, with the birds, you've got the parrot, you've got the stork, you've got the heron, and you've also got the puffin as well. Puffin. I mean, all Leicester then. Puffin. Puffin. Yeah, which I think that's a great bundle. For yeah, it really is. It's a great price as well, £22.96, pence. because they're easy and they are quick, hence the name, pretty quick. Um, you know, with one cut through, you could just stick that onto a card and you've got a fabulous looking card instantly. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to add some uh, sprinkles, not sprinkles, <laughs> glitter. <laughs> some glitter, which does sprinkle as you <laughs> take it over the card, so it could be a sprinkle. All right. So then you sprinkle it over, you let it dry. Of course, you complete the whole thing. You let it uh, dry and set. Okay. And then uh, it should dry like this. Oh, wow, look So it'll at that. give you that beautiful... It's like a marble effect. Yes, it's like a... It almost looks like glass. Yeah. That is, that is really cool. Yeah. I do like so that. So then um, you would just glue this on top and cover up all of your mistakes. Got you. And it makes like a cool like mosaic effect, kind of like a stained glass window. Yeah, I was going to say that, very much so. But oh, again, you want to take your time. <laughs> it won't end up like a blobby mess, I promise. <laughs> <It's not blobby laughs> mess. But yeah, once you're done, you would just glue that on top. Your last layer, if you want to build up even more of that dimension, yeah. then you can even add a fourth layer to it. Yeah. Perfect. I love these. Um, have we still got the cues on the phones, may I ask? Less than a minute, so that's good news. Uh, again, the best way to order is the website. So yeah, at the end, love this that. will turn into that, yeah. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Give it some drying time. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of drying time. And again, um, can I pick that one up and show you at yes. home? Yeah. Yes, that one. Let's grab that. That is fabulous, isn't it? What a cool effect. And you can do that at home. There you go. Love that. It just looked like a, a stained glass window. Very, very good. If you do want all four dies, the Heron, the Puffin, the Parrot and the Stork, £22.96. Here's the website. This is where you can see all the other items we've got for you on the show. Remember, those pretty quick dies 
aren't with the RSPB, but the other stamps and dies that we've got for you on the show are. The RSPB are a registered company. Um, they are a registered charity, should I say, uh, a British charity company. And 10% of all the profits will be going to the RSPB. So you're doing something um, for a good cause, and you're also making and creating some fabulous, fabulous stamp sets. And because it is the RSPB, they've got the names of their birds right. They've got the shapes of their birds right, so you know that you are spot on when you're using the dies and the stamps and you can use them with confidence. You've also got the scenes around them as well which is really nice, well thought out um, by the design team as well as to what birds have what around them at different times of year. Right, we're back with Jeanette, what we're going to have a look at now? So I'm going to make a really quick card with the Summer Birds okay. stamp and die set. Well, actually not the die set, just the stamps. Mm -hmm. So I have a piece of A6 size white cardstock. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, repeated stamping to create a very quick background. Okay. So I'm going to grab the swan, the stamp. Yeah. It's so elegant and fancy. Did you know that the queen owns all the swans on the table? I did know that. Mm. Yeah, that's so cool. Well, they're all protected under her. Yes. <laughs> Read the full thing online. <laughs> Don't take everything I say. So we're going to start with our swan in the center. Her Majesty. In case you're <laughs> watching, ma'am. Oh, do you think she watches? That would be so cool. Well, apparently yeah. she's a crafter. I don't know whether she is. I might have made that up. <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. That but would, if you are watching. That would be amazing. Um, I'm sure she stumbled upon it at some point. Right, you <laughs> So we're just going to keep uh, stamping our swan. And if it goes off of the edge, that's okay. I'm going for like a repeated stamping effect. It's a lovely image, isn't it? It's Very so elegant. Yeah, absolutely. Very elegant. So good for like wedding cards too. Yes, yeah, definitely. Wedding thank you cards for wedding gifts. I think it's nice using it on repeat like you're doing here. Yeah, it almost looks like you uh, have your own pattern paper, like your own swan pattern paper. I wonder if you could use these stamps with uh, fabric inks. Yes. I believe you can. Because these would make some incredible pieces of fabric for, for bags and um, tableware and things like that. And even shrink plastic, actually. You can make some bird earrings. That'd be lovely. And you can use, uh, I think you can use archival ink to stamp yeah. um, onto like canvas and stuff like that. Fabric and it'll stay. Look how pretty that is. I it is, love isn't it? it? You know, when you start using it like that and start pattern building as well. Yes. And, you know, you've got different birds that you can use that you can mix and match if you want to. And maybe that just a fabulous. little bit just at the top of there to give it that like sense of like it's continuing like continuity. Yeah. Alright and then we can switch over to ooh, maybe the little hearts in the center so you get two little itty bitty hearts. You gotta call your carp in there as well. Oh yeah, and this little um, lily, like a water lily. Yeah, you've got the water lily. Um, do you want me to pick this up for you? Yeah. Uh, so there's your koi carp just there. She's pretty cool, isn't it? And then you've got your water lily just there. So you've got the pad and the leaf. Uh, you've got, I love this, that water effect. The little fish there, of course, with the kingfisher and with the love hearts. And you've got the reeds in there as well. Um, and that says... My first, my last, my everything. Oh, That's so sweet. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> it's lovely. Oh. So I have taken the little hearts, the little, two little con like joining hearts there, yes. and I've uh, snipped them in two because I didn't want them together. Uh, but if you want to keep them together, you can. Okay. And I'm just going to go in between all these little spaces. And this is stamp. really pretty, Jeanette. Thanks. It's so easy to do as well. Imagine if you did use this with fabric ink and you had a large piece of fabric. You had that pattern on repeat. You've designed your own pattern. That would be mm -hmm. really cool. I think that's just really easy to do. And for some reason, I find this very relaxing to just like keep stamping yeah. and doing that repeated stamping. So here I have a card base with a mat and that should fit right there. And we're going to glue that down. Let me use my tape runner. Again, don't forget that deal of the day if you're considering card. We've got white and black, which actually with the swan, oh my word, the black and the white card would be perfect for you. And there's envelopes as well included. Now I have cut a little strip that matches this blue here. 
to just put right on top there and then I can add my sentiment which I'm gonna go for um, my first my last my everything that was oh. really sweet and we're just gonna stamp that on our blue little strip just in black I like the colors you're using on this card thank you it's just really really easy and I feel like you can give uh, it could be like mas masculine or feminine those particular colors all right and then we're just gonna glue that on top maybe a little bit lower down so we don't cover yeah. up that particular swan maybe there that looks good all right it looks fabulous doesn't it really really does thank you um and just one of many 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 combinations i'll pick this up to show people at home uh just one of many many uh combinations of designs that you can make and create how lovely who'd have thought doing something like that very modern um, I really like that. If you want to go for the summer bird stamp set, which includes the swan, then the details are on your screen, £19.98, 230028. Really love that. How inspirational is that? Remember, you can watch this show again on repeat, so when you get your stamps home, you can perhaps craft along and do the same, maybe use some different colours and see how it turns out. Uh, £19.98, saving £4 on that particular stamp set. Here it is. Uh, with the dies as well, so you've got the habitat for the swans and the kingfisher. Uh, you've got that log, you've got the water in there, love that. Uh, if you do want to get a hold of that, details are right there on your screen. We've also got the autumn for you, proving to be popular. And the autumn has the magpie in there, and you've got the pumpkin, you've got the owl in there, you've got that little critter thing that lives in a web. Uh, you've got the tree there with the um, dice and you've got the hedgehog. Love that. Uh, 010228 is your item number. Then we've got spring. There you go with the birdhouse. Love that. And the watering can. Um, oh, this is pretty. This is lovely. Uh, and you've got the snail. And you've got the little worm in there. So you've got all those little added extras. £19.98 and the cloud with the rain. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? That happens all year round now. So if you're going for the whole set, you can use that all year round. Uh, £19.98, you're saving £4 on your winter stamp set. Um, with that, you've got those lovely pots and you've got the bird bath as well, which is great. So that's 313151. And remember, 10% of everything um, is going to the RSP big. Uh, let's have a look at this British garden stamp set. This has been really busy, do you know? Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's massive and it's jam-packed. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It it's really massive. is. Um, there's so much in this, though. I know. There's beautiful sentiments. I really love the sentiments because it allows you to create sympathy cards, birthday cards, anniversary cards, thank you cards, uh, cards of encouragement. But then you have that beautiful birdhouse, the little shovel handle there. You could put a little, pop a little bird on top of that. And then you also get all these little flowers and, and like sprigs and twigs and the branch there, which I have used on that card there. Do you know what I love about this? You might have stamp sets at home already that um, maybe you've got a stamp set of, a, of an English country garden or a cottage and you're making and you're building these scenes and you're thinking there's something missing <laughs> and this could be it. This could be the birds that are missing from that scene that you've made and created, not just for cards, for canvases, for artwork as well. Um, you could be using this with um, your mixed media style, maybe a little bit of um, steampunk if you want to. You know, birds are so, so popular in that um, realm of medium it gives you a chance to use them it doesn't have to be colorful you could make them dark and grungy as well yeah, with the stamp absolutely. Sets, yes which is really good this is excellent value for money it really is 13 pounds and 98 pence saving three pounds uh, we're getting busy though so if you do want it i would pop it into your basket and check on out remember check on out it's not yours until you do so but it'll give you a chance to get this marvelous set home 271191 is your item number so you can see there with that particular sample you've got the swallow just yes. going into the birdhouse right and it has the coordinating die for the swallow so mm. I just die cut that from vellum you can kind of see the faint outline there so oh, I yeah. kind of backed him with that vellum just to give him like a softer look almost like a shadow yeah I love that yeah. Um, using these stamps as well maybe with that shrink plastic you can make a little charm 
mm, bracelet. That'd be so cute. That would be really nice. Then maybe a necklace and some earrings to match. Um, birds are so popular um, with everyone. We've had a very, very busy show. So thank you for your custom. But do make sure that you check out your basket. So that's your RSPB dies and stamps. Very, very happy to have them here at Hochanda. But we also have another set for you. This isn't from the RSPB, but these are pretty cool. And they're called Pretty Quick. Love these. They're what beautiful. a great concept. Oh, she says. I should help you this time around. Yes. <laughs> Instead okay. of just watching you struggle. <laughs> I don't know what you I like it when you watch me struggle. It's, it's a giggle. Uh, um, these are fabulous. Here they go. One cut, one pass through your die cutting machines. They'll work in all of your die cutting machines. Just check all your sandwiches and things like that. Uh, but you've got seams already made with the birds. So you've got your puffin, you've got your cr um, your heron, you've got your parrot and you've got your stork as well. £22.96 saving £11. Uh, Jeanette, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yes, absolutely. Um, you're so talented. I love Thank you. watching you make cards. Uh, you're back at four o'clock? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Back at four o'clock. Hopefully we'll have the stock for you as well. You can still buy in between the shows, but we do recommend that you check out your baskets. For our, so from these two birds, we'll see you in a few moments time. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks. Right, Funky Needlework is coming up next with our Adam. Crafting with Clarity One Day Special with Paul and Dee is at one o'clock. And then All and Create Weekend Wow back at two. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favorite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic 45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Joy to the World Angelic Altered Book Box Kit and Christmas Card Trio, containing the Joy to the World Angelic Altered Book Box and the Joy to the World Christmas Card Trio projects. You'll get almost everything you need to create these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and accompanying project sheet. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 322425 for £41.99. Plus your postage from Hochanda.com or give us a call on 01733 62000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. <music> Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. Is it afternoon or just just, just. on the cusp of afternoon? Uh, good afternoon, one. Good afternoon, all of you are new to us as well. Where have you been? Uh, needlework and needle points. We're about to look at now, and a bit of quilting. Uh, Josie's here as well. How are you? I'm really well, and I'm glad to be here. It's lovely to be here. Good. Our first time working together. It is. Um, I'm very excited about this because we were just talking in the break as well about I've got a list of jobs that we need to do and we keep putting them off because in fact we haven't got the right tools. Now the tools you've brought us today oh. 
You can do so much with you can. fun. So, the, so we started um, uh, expanding our range of rulers that we that we use, and we like our rulers to do more than one pattern. So that you get really good use out of it. Okay. So you can do lots of. Um, you, there's lots of ways of putting it together as well. So we're gonna we're gonna talk through some of that today as well. So we're, there's a lot to get through, and there's a, there is some beautiful absolutely beautiful fabrics on the show as well but we are going to talk about the rulers first on their own so these are the rulers that what you're getting on their own let me do the boring bits first seven eight six three five four is your item number 25 pounds and 99 pence now you're getting five of the rulers now I, you're looking at them going well a ruler's a ruler surely no these are in every quilter's stash I'm going for, you need these in your stash yeah, if you've not got them already. These are really good for beginners, for people who are experienced and it's something new for some, if you're an experienced quilter. You can make up lots of different patterns. You can make a quick quilt, you can make one that's going to take you a long time. And they're very sturdy, they've got their quarter inch allowance in them. Lots of um, little holes to do markings if you want to do markings and pinning. Lots of different ways to do them. So they're really for beginners and intermediate and advanced as well, if you really want to go for these. So we're looking at the half, like sort of crescent at the moment. So these all work together as one set. So on okay. each ruler, um, on probably on this one here, if I can pick that up. Yeah. Um, the writing's the right way around. Maybe it's it there. You can see that there's a design in the middle, and on each ruler, the shaded part of that um, the design is that that piece of ruler. And this shows you how they can, they can work okay. together. So, if I put my hand behind there, so the shaded part here is what this ruler will form. And that Makes piece sense. there in your hands can go into a couple of the different quilts. So not all of them will go in all of the quilts, um, and you can put them together in lots of different ways, I'm going to show that. Oh, so then, if we look at this one, oh, this makes perfect sense now. Uh, if I hold it that way, so you see the half circles in the top, so one there and one there, that is what this piece will do. So not only are you getting the rulers, you're also getting each one measured together, and it will also show you where they will go on your quilting as well. So you've also got a guide on there, so you're also buying into a teaching assistant as well, that will tell you, I haven't got to remember anything, because it's all written there for you, they're all numbers as well, one, two, three, four, and five, so each one you'll know where each one will go, the triangles are on there as well for you. All the shapes mix and match together, um, you can make many different designs out of these as well, I suppose the possibilities are endless. They are. Uh, we're we're going to have fun playing with them. Um, they have little letter markings on them as well, so when you join the pieces together, you can join dot .a with dot .a and dot .b with dot .b. So we just wanted to make it as easy as possible for people to use. And we are, are going to show you this as well. If you have any questions as well, please do email in studio at chanda.com if you're thinking, well, do the rulers do this? Email in and we'll ask the question live on air for you. So the details of the rulers by themselves, 786354 is your item number, £25.99. Brand new today, never been seen before, we're launching them now, but you can also get these rulers in some amazing kits as well. So we're going to talk about the large wave first. We're going to bring the details up for the large wave. You're getting all five of the rulers thrown in with this as well. 862-899 is your item number, £106.99. So what are we getting in our li large wave collection? So these are six inch strips and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen different colours there. Um, these are, I mean, th th you get the full width of the fabric which is 45 inches and because it's batik it's double sided. So it's, um, you can, the die goes all the way through, which is really great for this because you don't have to worry about which way up the rulers go. Um, and you get this, uh, the, the extra wide fabric, which is the white extra wide fabric. And this is 110 inches by 72. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> I'm glad I got that one right. Um, and it's a very soft but strong cotton. Um, in fact, I wonder, can we can we pull it yeah, out and have a little wave around? Yeah, let's have a go. So if I, if I lift all that up, I know we're disrupting oh, this we beautiful this. display. So, you get an awful lot here. Yeah, hey, it's you huge. Get, oh, my, oh, it is. It, oh, it's huge. It's mammoth. It's mammoth. So if you so take if I, them I take two sides. Piece. So it's, it's actually Look at way. all of it's this enormous. that you're getting. And this is touching, this is it's really touching like... The floor. Now this is, uh, the reason we've done the extra wide fabric is because a lot of people don't like joining fabric 
for the back of their quilt or the front of their quilt or, um, and it just means that you can use it in one big piece and then you can applique onto it or you can use the method that I'm going to show you today for making a, that is a wave quilt. So that's a huge quilt top that you're going to get it from really this. Is, that's like it's a, a bit double of a, bed. Yeah, it is. I mean, it would, it, on, a, on a king size bed, it would touch the floor on both sides probably, oh. I'm sure. That's so a, you that's in that, huge. if you look at a king size bed, you are getting an awful lot for your mm. money here. Now, I know it's a considered purchase, but you are buying into an awful lot of the fabric here as well. So you're not only are you getting this, you're also getting all the cut. Oh, I've not done that very well. That would annoy me. It's lovely. Um, you're also getting all the other techniques as well, and you're getting those rulers thrown in as well, remember. Um, and because we're doing lots of different ways of putting it together, you're also going to get the two metres of interfacing as well. So you also get the interfacing. So you've more or less got everything you need here to start quilting straight away. Yeah, yeah. It's great. So all you need is your own threads in a machine, and you are away. This is your large wave quilting kit, £106.99. and pence. You can split the cost as well over two payments of £53.00 and 50 pence. Your, uh, your postage and packaging will come off the first one and then we will send all this to you so you can start playing. Then in a month's time you pay the second flexi buy as well, 53 pounds and 50 pence. Very well worth getting all these because look at the beautiful colours. You're getting the array of colours you're getting as well and once again the, you're getting a lot of material on these as well. So you are getting an awful lot here for your money. Brand new today, 862-899. Now you're thinking, I love that kit. I would just like it a little bit smaller. We can do this as well. So this is your standard. standard. So what are we getting in the standard that, that differs? So you don't get quite as many of the fabrics. Okay. They're all still lovely and they're a really good range of colours in, in the blues and the purples and the, and the lilacs. Um, and you get a, the metre of the white and it's a, it, 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 you'll still get a really nice piece of, of quilting out of this. And you could even, if you wanted to, you could get two of them you could, or you could add on one of the other the extension pieces later on. And you get a metre of the, um, the interfacing, interfacing as well. As well. Interfa I couldn't think so of the word. So the quilt you can make out of this, the size of the quilt you can make it is 42 by 40. So you are getting, in inches, so you are getting quite a quite a big piece. And if you chose to, you could use some of these pieces to extend the size as a border and make it slightly bigger if you oh, wanted to end that. So, so that would be the centre piece and then you could use some of the others. So and you, don't you could use, use some of the other things to make it even bigger if you wanted to as well. Yeah. Remember, already thrown in as well, you are getting the £25 ruler set as well, just short, the brand new ones. So for your first flexi pay in theory is just the rulers. Mm -hmm. If you think, if you if you break that flexi pay down, if you really break this down, so that fifty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence, two flexes, twenty-eight pounds fifty. Your first flexi will be your rulers and a little bit more because I think your rulers are twenty-five pounds on their own, twenty-six pounds on their own, so two pound extra. And then your second um, one is all your fabrics and your interfacing and your backing as well. Really do break this kit down because remember, twenty-six pounds is just for your rulers alone. But now, with a little bit of extra, you are getting all of this that you currently see on the table as well. Two flexi pays of £28.50. 915261 is your item number. And this is your standard wave. If you're liking the blues, you're thinking, I'd like a little bit more zing, I'd like a little bit more zest. We've got a little flamenco up next as well. Absolutely. These are stunning colours. These are really great. I've made up the flamenco quilt that's hanging up in the, in the corner over there. And um, and I just I like a bit of bright as you can tell. Orange is my favourite colour. <laughs> um, and these as as a combination, you just think really will they work together? Well, you can judge that for yourself when you look at the quilt because I think the black in a quilt really brings these to life. It really does, and you're looking at the quilt now that you can create. Just look how stunning! Once again, all done with the rulers that is coming in the kit as well. One five eight eight two seven is your item number. Fifty six pounds and ninety nine pence. You can split the cost as well on this to £28.58 again. Once again, remember £26 on its own is just the rulers. So £26 are the rulers on their own. So you are getting so much more than the rulers as well. And by no means have I used every piece of fabric in that quilt. You could easily extend that with some more black fabric and, and, and make more. a much bigger quilt if you wanted to. So you are getting an awful lot of fabric as well extra. These runs on beautiful 
So you can make you can make some stunning pieces of work with this as well. Also, bringing your own fabrics at home with Absolutely. the rulers you've got. And once you've made one, you go time and time again because you will always use these rulers. These will be like a hand statement. They'll stay on your desk time and time again. If you're thinking, I love the flamenco, I want to go a little bit green. You can we can go green as well. And we've got uh, the leaves as well, fabric. Once again, your rulers are thrown in with this. Uh, so you're getting your rulers and your, this is And there's some, a variety of greens. These are beautiful greens. I like these. I, I mean, I think green goes with most things. I mean, if you look at it next to the flamenco, that green would tie in quite nicely. Yeah, it would. Those. Um, and I like the, the mixture of, because although there's pink in there, there's blue in there, it's green. It still looks green. And you can do all kinds of things with those. You really could go to town with these as well. As we said, these does work with flamenco as well. You are getting the set of rulers. So if you're buying more than one, you're going to get more than one set of rulers. You could gift a set mm. of rulers if you wanted to as well. Because they, they do come sorry, with the chain, so they all can stick together. So you'll never lose them all. So if you've got a little hook on the side of your desk, they will stay there as well. Um, where did the ideas for the rulers come from? Where did... Um, well, the, I've been teaching for years. And, um, and I found that uh, working with paper stencils, they get dog-eared and, and, and you can't reuse them. You've got to make another one, print it out. And the rulers, it just means that you can just cut straight with the rotary cutter. You don't have to, um, you don't have to start and, and draw around things and then cut them out with scissors. You can, you can just work straight with them. The designs themselves, the shapes, well, I have these stored up in my head. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it's no secret that I, I do most of my best thinking in the bath. And, um, and I'm always looking around at nature for shapes that I like, the way that fabric folds and falls, which is where this one came from, really. Because um, I was looking at somebody's skirt one day, and I liked the way that it draped, and I thought, well, how can I use that shape in something? So I like to do things that are new, that I haven't seen before necessarily in... Um, in the quilting world, I suppose. And I think you've achieved that with these as well. I don't think you would have ever seen these before, and the shapes and the patterns you can create with these, well, the world is really your oyster. They go together so, so, so magically, and they really do work. You look at the shapes and you think, oh, I don't think they will go together, but they all really will work together. 20% gone of this has already gone, yeah, uh, gone out the door. 641770 is your item number for the greens, uh, but tw over 20% yeah. of this has already gone. Very, very popular. Two flexes of just £19 and a few pence. Cotton fabrics next. Now, these come separately. You can choose the black or you can choose the white. It's entirely up to you. What would we use these for? So the you, can, you can use the white to extend any of the other pieces. You could use them as borders. You could use, use them both together to make a black and white quilt. Oh, okay. That would, so if you want to use the rulers and make a black and white quilt, and if, you're, if colour is not your thing, then this is the way to go. And it, they both come with the um, coordinating interfacing. And I'm going to show... That's one of the techniques to, to, um, to, this, to using this ruler. Yeah. It's, it's quite nice if you're an, new to quilting, then you can put these shapes together using the interfacing instead of having to stitch curved pieces together, which is not everybody's cup of tea. I like it, but you know. So all you need to do is pick which one you want, black or do you want white? £14.99. It all comes under the same item number. 003359 is your item number, and all you have to do is pick which colour, black or the white. £14.99. But the easiest thing to do is check the website, but we've got some um, something here that's very busy and you've also found on the website as well, is applique scissors. You found these as well. Uh, the details for these are popping up on the screen for you now. 857585 is your item number. £24.99 for these as well. They've been very, very busy. And something else that's also been very busy is the tiny little rotary cutter. You'll see these as well. These are the uh, Funky Needle Clover 18mm rotary cutter, brand new today, £17.99. Uh, the applique packs, you found these on the website as well. But what you're seeing, or we'll ask actually about this. So these applique packs, Yes. what, as me being a new, new to crafting, right. so we get these through the door, what would we do with it? What would we do with them? Well, there's a quilt hanging up behind that I've made with those. Okay. Um, and I think the last time I was on, I have, uh, I've used it for a, for a quilt for that one as well. You get, I, I sell this by the weight because they're not exact sizes. They're all at least six inches by six inches, all the pieces. Oh, okay. And this means that you get a, a huge variety 
and you can play with the sizes as you really do. Uh, uh, as you, uh, you really get so much. So whether you, if, you, if you're into quilt making, I suppose, if you're into your odds and ends, if you just like your, your bits here, your bits there, if you're into your sewing, you can use. Even you could use these in your mixed media of your cards. I'm you guessing. Could, yeah, you could. You could use some of the. If you use some of that with Jeez. some of the bon bonding stuff that you can get on. I won't tell makes, but the bonding stuff that you can put on the back of the fabric. You can use that and then cut it out and stick it on the front of cards. Stick on the front of cards as well. But if you're thinking, well, I, I just want to make a quilt, you could make something like, well, you could make this just from. So, how many of uh, rolls would we need to make that? Is that just out of one? Yes, that was just one. Oh, so that's just one roll. Look at all that of that. One. And it keeps going and going. It's the quilt that keeps on going. I might moving. play with that one if you pass it over. And, oh, of course you oh, can. Oh, excellent. We'll play with this one. You can play, play, play away as well. We're still going. You can create that just from one of these packs. Six by six, roughly. Um, £12.99. 935338 is your item number for these as well. So we've got the petite, and now we've also got the bold cotton as well. The details from that will be appear on your screen. Lovely. Right, so right then, what are we so demoing? What are we I'm doing? Going to show it. So this is my little bag of my ruler bits that I've been using. So you've got one there in front of you, so you can play with it as well, because why not? Um, I'm just going to um, use... I need a little pencil. I would normally use a, a propelling pencil. OK. But because we're on air, I want everybody to be able to see the little dots, so I'm going to use a pen. Um, so this one here is if I put it on a darker piece you might be able to see it better there so uh, you can see how the rulers fit on there easily really you can use them in a, and you could get lots oh, of different designs yeah. so, you know you can get a lot on there as well and this one that fits on quite nicely too they are they all fit on there really well so I'm just going to use the this lovely new rotary cutter that I've just taken out of the packet it's so why would a smaller rotary cutter be better than our large ones that we would normally use? In, uh, well, it, if you're doing an inner cut on an inner curve like this, you can get much closer and much more accurate. Oh, OK. Because um, if you've got a bigger bigger rotary cutter, so um, 45 millimetres, say, you will never get it in there. And also you'll, you'll damage the ruler and you might damage your rotary cutter as well oh, because okay, you'll be so chipping off the edge of there. So the, the secret is really... Um, if I start off there. Now, normally, I would turn my board around when I'm cutting, so I might sit. I think I've probably got enough space to do that as well. So. I can shimmy everything there. That's okay. So I'm going to just lay it out. I'm always going to cut away from myself because for safety purposes, I'm just going to put the rotary cutter in. And that's cutting really nicely. Look how easy that goes around these shapes that's as well. Lovely. That's lovely. Feels really nice when I'm cutting it round. Blade away. I'll just leave that on there and turn that round. Now that's moved, but that's okay because it's very simple to sort of line it back up again. There we go. Again, cutting away from myself. Once again, because they're because they're quite they're quite beefy blocks as well, so you really can get a good old hole. You've always got somewhere to put your fingers on all of the blocks. You can, Hold and also down. once you've got, once you've done it a couple of times, you'll be braver and you'll put a couple of pieces on a couple of pieces of fabric on at the same time. You oh, cut you'll through, cut through, through them all. the same time. You cut through them all at the same time. Now, before I move that, I would normally actually I'll try it with this. You might be able to see it. So I'll put the little dots in here, little dots. The six by six, sorry to chip in, the six okay. by six in the boutiques at the moment, the details that are on the screen, 40% uh, of these have now gone. 40% of the boutiques have now gone in the six by six. This is what you're getting in your boutique pack. Um, but the six by six, nine, three, five, three, three, eight is your item number. And nearly f uh, over 40% now of the stock has now gone. Brilliant. So I've got, um, there's one. Oh, here's some I did earlier. Um, I'll use some of the leafy colours. So, to, ah, as you're talking about, oh, this is seamless. As you're talking about the leafy colours, uh, that leaf set that we saw, that the details are on the screen now, with the leaf fabric with ruler pack as well, 70% of this has now wow. already gone, and we're only 20 minutes in. This could be the first sellout. £39.49. 641770. 80% of the stock has now gone. This is how quick it is going. Uh, two flexi buys of 19 pounds and 75 pence 
80%, nearly over 80% now of the stock has already gone. Good luck if it's in your basket. It's now gone limited stock. That is really, really busy. We might have to make some calls so we can get some more stock. It is now green on screen. We are now limited. We might have our first sellout within the first 25 minutes. Right, so you'll notice that I'm putting the whole, I'm all, on all of these, I'm putting all the dots on the same side. And that's really so that I know which way up to put this. On the, if you're using a printed fabric, as in the other bundle, it's a bit easy to tell which way it's supposed to go. Oh, okay. But if you're using batik, see those nice big dots there. So, I just need some pins. So I, when I started doing putting these together, um, they, I was pinning them. And then I gradually decided that actually I didn't need to because it's such a nice easy curve that, that it goes together. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this is the, the design that is on the quilt behind us. And you can see how all of these join together. Oh, and they all fit together. Yeah, that's great. So I've put these and the, I want the dots on the back. So to do this, I put a, d a pin through the one dot. Now, you can't always see this one, so put a little pleat and you can see where you're going to put it on the other one. Oh, okay. Okay. So would you suggest for people when they get these home, cut them out two or three times just out of paper, just so they can work out patterns and shaping? Well, I mean, to be honest, it is such a, it is a very straightforward thing to do. And if you start, um, well, I, I had a, an evening of cutting. So oh, that okay. I just sat there with the tray on my lap, except partly because I was practicing cutting sitting down because I do that on her chamber, <laughs> and it's not my natural thing to do. I like to stand up to cut. And the thing to remember is that when you're pinning them together, is to just take tiny little bites out of it, and it's not the edge that has to match up; it's a quarter of an inch in. So see, so I joined both edges there, and then I'm going to put one in the middle as well. Three quarters now of this boutique collection has now gone. Three quarters of the stock has already gone. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pounds. Things seem to be going very quick this hour. Nine three five three three eight is your item number for the boutique. But over three quarters of the stock has already gone. The leaf fabric that we were talking about has now sold out. But. The 18th of November is now extended delivery. So it's sold out, but we can get it back on extended delivery on the 18th of November. 641770 is your item number. Now that is on extended delivery. Be quick for that. It's already flying out the door and it's now on extended delivery.